Okay, I know there's a few of you who have asked me if I know of any uh, recipes for like oil-free dressing. There's a few of them that they, they said they're tired of the oil and the vinegar and the lemon and they just want something different. Well, I've got a fabulous recipe that I'm going to share with you and I've used it many times. This, though I love ranch, is my, is my ultimate go-to favorite. This dressing that I'm put together that I'm gonna put together and show you, I love this stuff on tomato sandwiches in the summertime or just drizzled on some garden fresh tomatoes. It is fabulous. So with that being said, we will get right to it. Okay, my recipe. Well my recipe, I didn't think I was gonna fit my spoon in there, calls for two tablespoons of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. Now this is, is the craft, but it is grated Parmesan. So with that, two tablespoons of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And by the way, if you are not one to eat cheese, you can definitely replace or substitute the Parmesan cheese with some nutritional yeast. Same amount. This is wonderful. I love this. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of spicy mustard. Oh, come on. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness, come on. There we go. There's one. And there's two. Okay. And then we are going to use about three quarters of a teaspoon, or a scant teaspoon like that, of sweet basil. So I'll just do just barely a teaspoon, okay? And now the salt and pepper is strictly to your taste. I'm gonna grind up a little bit. I like lots of pepper. All right, I'm gonna put that amount in there. I don't know, maybe it was like a quarter teaspoon. Then a little bit of salt in there, about the same amount. Okay, and now we are going to do we're going to put in two tablespoons of water. I'm just taking it right out of my tap. Okay. Now we're going to put the lid on this and we're going to shake the dickens out of it. This stuff is wonderful. And you can use this on your salads. You can use this on sandwiches. You can use this on so much and it's wonderful. It's delicious. There you have it. It might not look too appetizing, but you know what? It's delicious, and you will love it. See, I love it. I just take that, taste it. You might have to put, gosh, that's, that's just fabulous. You might want to, you know, season it with a little more salt or pepper. That's just to your taste. This is wonderful. So there you have it, friends. Give that a try. And if you're one that loves the uh, tomato sandwiches, the fresh tomato sandwiches in the summer, put a little shot of that on there. Fantastic. All right, friends, there you have it. Thanks for watching.